New developments of a story we first brought you here at 6 o'clock. A former Boca Raton Community Middle School student didn't know he was part of what is known as the Skull Breaker TikTok Challenge, which led to him breaking his arm. His family is now suing the Palm Beach County School Board for negligence. His lawyer tells us as they're preparing for trial, the school district got rid of critical evidence after demanding surveillance video of the incident. We want to warn you, the video you are about to watch can be disturbing to see. Suji Nam shares a story you will only see here on WPBF 25 News. It's a cover-up in my opinion. Patrick Lawler represents Rachel Brooks and her son Josiah Garman, a former student at Boca Raton Community Middle School. Last March, Garman said his classmates asked him how high he could jump by the school bus loop. His legs were then swept from under him. Garman broke his arm. This young man and her family deserves justice. The truth. The truth will show how this whole situation came about. Since the lawsuit was filed, Lawler requested the school district preserve all surveillance video, including the courtyard and bus loop. We talked to the principal. Uh, she said they looked at the video of the bus loop, didn't show the incident. They talked to their legal and said, don't save it. That's not their choice. They have a duty to save it. Lawler says he was getting conflicting answers from a school witness about the preservation of the video. You're under oath to tell the truth, so I'm going to ask you this question again. Was the video working? Yes. I said, great. Did you see stuff on there? Yeah. And then he said, well, by the way, I preserved some of the video. I'm like, what do you mean you preserved the video? My understanding is none of it was preserved. I said, who told you to preserve? He said, the principal. The Palm Beach County School Board denied the negligence claim. In their legal brief, district lawyers wrote that Lawler's request for video was, quote, such a ridiculous and burdensome demand. And they argued that the principal, quote, rejected this clearly unreasonable demand and preserved only one video. Lawler says he finally got a video, but it was of the courtyard and did not show the incident. The principal testified, quote, there was nothing to preserve because there was no incident. Lawler hopes the court will rule that the district got rid of the evidence and inform the jury. The trial is set for October. And of course, we will continue to monitor the developments of this case and bring you the latest both on air and online. In Boca Raton, I'm Suji Nam for WPBF 25 News.